called here last week. It was lovely. Um, and uh, I got a lot of lovely feedback from people as well. Um, so my Twitter handle is at Hurling Coach. If anybody wants to talk to more. Um, the, the few bits of equipment that we need today. Uh, for, um, for anybody who'd, who, who'd like to... Uh, would like to use those. Okay, so books, small books would be better than big books. Uh, and some kind of a bounty ball. I look at loads of different uh, types of slitters and tennis balls and bounce balls. So that nice little bounty ball there. Make sure that it's safe. That you don't do anything that's going to hurt anybody or it's going to break any, anything either. Okay. Um, so um, I'm going to get started out. I, I, I hope the connection is okay and uh, that we'll be able to work away. Okay, so first job will be to put out my cones, okay, to set up my cones. So here I go, like this, I put one out here like that, or books if you want, one foot in between two cones, two, three, and five, okay, so there my there like that, uh, and my hurley here then as well. So we want to start off, so it's a hurley or it's a, it's a wooden spoon. So we're going to start off today with uh, a lifting game, okay? A lifting game, and again, it's called the coach. Children often love this game. So what you've got to do is, you've got to, so when I say jump forward, everybody jumps forward in that. And when I say anything, just watch them backwards. Good. Jump forwards, jump backwards. Okay, I just try not to hit my heart in the way. Forwards, jump backwards, jump forward, jump backwards. Jump forwards, jump backwards. Good stuff. Okay, hope you've got that. Uh, this time, we're going to face side, side on the And we're going to jump over the hurley. Jump over, jump back. Jump over, jump back. Jump over, jump back, jump over, jump back, jump over, jump back. Good stuff. Now this time we're going to put one foot in front and one foot behind. Okay? So when I say change, then you do change your feet. Change your feet. Change, 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 change. Okay. We're going to have the game. The game's got to beat the coach. So I'm going to go for a minute and a half at this. And I'm going to see, can you stay with me for the minute and a half? We'll to get us all the way with it. Okay, so we're ready to go. Three, two, one, go. I wonder if I catch anybody out. Did anybody jump in the world as well? Jump forwards, jump backwards, jump forwards. Jump backwards. Jump forwards. Jump backwards. Jump forwards. Jump backwards. And every now and again, now I'm going to try and fool you. So, jump forwards. Jump forwards. Uh, jump backwards. Jump forwards. Jump backwards. Okay, super stuff. Shake out your legs. Well done. Get a drink of water if you can. Okay, good stuff. So today is Ash Wednesday. Yesterday was Pancake Tuesday, and uh, I get loads of pancakes, so I'm a little bit sluggish this morning. So often on Ash Wednesday, uh, when I was young, we'd always give up something like sweets. We'd always give up sweets maybe for a few weeks. Uh, or that, and uh, uh, try and do it for the whole of Lent, but it was very hard to do it for 40 days and 40 nights, especially around St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. So, but you could also take up something. So, I'm taking up now this year, I'm going to try and drink two litres of water every day. So, I bought this uh, two litre bottle and uh, it's filled with water. So, by the time the day is over, I hope to have everything that it all drank because I think. It's mostly very, very good for you to drink two litres of water every day, uh, along with your fruit and vegetables as well. Um, so I'm going to try and do that for a little bit here. Okay, we'll we, we, we keep going here. So I want you now to put up the hand 
Did you hold a pencil with it and color a big sun in the sky and draw it in, color it in? I'm right handed. So nine people out of ten are right handed in the world, and that's their hurry hand, their right hand. And one pe person in every ten is left handed. The left handed people are something very creative. So it's always good to have left handed people on every team. But they could be the ones who will figure a way how to score goals or how to make the, the great passes. So left-handed people should hold the hurley with their left hand. So with that hand that you write with, go back now and pick up your hurley. Pick up your hurley like that. Okay, or your wooden spoon. Make sure it's small and light. Oh, we're going to try and do it now. We're going to try and develop our wrist first of all. So if you look at, I'm going to hold my arm very steady, and I'm going to just move up and down the hurley with my hand. My wrist is going to do that for me. So I'm going to wiggle up and down like that. And as I get good, I can do it a little bit more. Now, if my hurley is very heavy, I'm going to find it very hard to do that. Okay. But being a wristy hurley, hurler is very important. You see where my thumb is here now? That's very important. And my thumb presses there on the hurley as well. And I wiggle it up and down. And the other thing that's really important, you see this part here? The nose or the toe of the hurley. It's very important that points out from my choosing part. But if you were playing a match in Chelsea Park with Clare, pretty much everybody who plays in that field, they will hold the nose of the hurley. They'll turn the nose of the hurley out from their tummy like that. Okay, so get into that habit. Because very often children start like that, they turn the hurley in, because they don't know, and it feels right at the time. But it, this way helps you become more risky and helps you become faster and better at the skills. So if you're five, six, or seven, that's a really good thing to do. So wiggle up and down like that. Now we'll be ready to go in a minute. Okay. We'll start with a little bit of running for squad. So all I'm going to do is run out the space that I have. Okay. So I'm going to set up for my run by putting one foot in front of the other. One foot in front. Okay. Two feet points in the same direction. Okay. And when mommy or daddy says go, one child is going to run out, turn around, and run back. And wait for your turn to get out. The next child will go. If you have two or three children in your in your house, put them all in the line here behind each other. So next child, ready to go with my wig and the hurley as they're going. Okay, one foot in front of the other. Nice bend in my knee. Nice bend in my hip. Okay, nice straight back. And my hands are ready. My hands are ready for running. Okay, brilliant stuff. I'm trying to keep my heels off the ground as much as possible. I don't have to run very fast. When we're indoors, we can't run too fast. Okay, because we might bump into something. And we might hurt ourselves. And that's the last thing we want. We don't want anybody to hurt themselves. Okay? The next thing we don't want, we don't want to break anything either. Or. So, just be very careful when you're running. Find your space and enjoy running. Enjoy running. Out. Next person will go, go. Out. Good stuff. Now, if you can continue that now in your groups of three or four, your groups of two, one person goes now. Out and try and be back in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Next person go. Out. Five, four, three, two, one. Next person go. Out. Five, four, three, two, one. I continue that pairs now for another few goals. Everybody gets two more goals. We're now very good. And we we'll just see what's going on here with the with the laptop. I hope you can see me okay. Um okay, good stuff. Great. Okay, so we've a nice start made. Wiggling the hurley like that again. Keep wiggling the hurley. Now so one of the big things we're trying to do at the moment is we're trying to get our heart beats up because we want to get cardiovascular exercise. Cardio means my heart. Vascular means my lungs. So if your heart is beating very fast, oh, that means you're getting cardiovascular exercise. If you're panting, I'm panting a bit now, that means you're getting cardiovascular exercise because your lungs are working. And if in a while you might feel a little bit of sweat coming in your, in your forehead. And that means you're getting cardiovascular exercise too. Okay, so the next exercise we'll do is our zigzag running. This is for agility. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get in between the cones or in between between the books. I'm just going to down two steps now so you see what, what happens. 
Here my books, two, three, four, five. Now, so line up there, all you need in your place is one. I'm here in Clare, in Clare Abbey, Clare GA headquarters. So there's loads of space in this room. Okay, so here I go now. Again, top of my hurley, arm straight, nose point up from the tummy. Okay, and I'm going to go across, go across the space, go across the space, go across the space. I try to do it back, go across the space. Okay, that means that you will eat. Set up your, your group there now with your children to go. Give them a little instruction. Let everybody go once. Okay, and then we'll, we'll coach you a little bit then as well. Okay, so off you go there now. Thanks very much. Good stuff, so zigzagging in the space, over and back, over and back. Okay, good. Right, we have a little bit of a coaching issue. So here. Now, I'm going, first of all, I try to keep my heels off the ground. I try to get in this position as much as possible, okay? So my shoulder is over my knee, which is over my toe, okay? And I try to be in this position, which is quite strong now, okay? Much stronger than this. If somebody pushed me when I'm standing tall, I might be that. I might be easy to push to the floor. Okay? I have, I'm more lively and I'm stronger. So when I'm going right, my right foot leads and my left foot follows. And then I change the left foot leads and right foot follows. Right foot leads and left foot follows. Anybody who does dancing now would be very good at this. Left foot leads and right leg follows. Right foot leads. Change my feet. Change my feet. Change my feet, change my feet. Over that again. Change my feet. And back again. Change my feet. Change my feet. Okay, good stuff. Okay, shake out your legs when you're back. Next person goes. Okay, right foot leads and left foot, left foot follows. Change your feet. Change your feet. Change your feet. Change your feet. Okay, and do it on the way back again. So I want you to imagine yourself now, you're playing down that way. And a temporary player comes to try and do it. And you use your feet to get around them. This is the temporary player. Just as you've done that, another one comes. And then another one comes. And the crowd, and the shouting, and the excitement. And imagine how you feel if you were able to do that. You... Good stuff. Okay, brilliant. Hope you're enjoying that now. Have another few goals now. Okay, so mammy and daddies watch watch how they're getting out their feet. Are they changing time? And I'll get a drink of water again. While while you're doing it there. So that's called lagging. That's far. I call that skill dodging. Dodging is a really good name, I think, because it's better up. And some of the top players in the country are really good at avoiding contact. Okay, we keep going. Last week we did height, and my ceiling was very, uh, was a bit lower last week, so I was really good that I was going to put my ceiling. So today I was a little bit higher, I, I should be okay. So you know, I'm upstairs and there's loads of people downstairs, so they might think it's an elephant that's jumping in a second if I'm not careful with my feet. So I want to keep my heels off the ground. I'm going to do a re jump over the cutter and I'm going to do a soft landing. And then do it on the way back. One, a hill, a doe, a tree, a capper, a quick. And on the way back, a hill, a doe, a tree, a capper, a quick. Love it. And kick out your heels. Super stuff. Everybody gets to go with it now. Next person go again. One, two, three, five. And on the way back, a hill, a doe, a tree. Much higher. I'll see if I can get my head. Close to the ceiling, okay? Good stuff. Okay. Now everybody have a go at that now again. See how we get done. See how we're getting on. Good stuff. Okay, so that's our high jumping. Okay. Now, I'd say maybe 
five goals of that each is enough for anybody, okay? Because we don't want to do too much jumping, okay? We don't do too much, especially the hydrogen. Lovely stuff. Now, we're going to get our ball. So this is a tennis ball, okay? And we start off nice and slowly. This would be ideal for small children. So now what I'm trying to do is get this skill. See my wrist? Okay. If my hand gets used to turning the hurley. So all I'm going to do first of all is start one-handed. Ball is on the ground, no sorry, I should just slip it down. Ball is behind my back, bend my knees. Okay, so now this is the doggy. And I'm walking the doggy. Okay, walking the doggy through my cones with the ball. Walk the doggy through the cones. Keep it there now. Right now, get the runs away and bite somebody. Okay, good stuff. If you don't, okay, put your feet. And again, you're getting your agility. Oh, I touched the cone there. I was trying not to touch a cone. Okay, and then I can do it on the way back again. Okay, so everybody have a go at that. I'm going to go again. All the children might get to it a little bit faster, but keep the ball very close to yourself now. So this is your ball control. Okay, ball control and wrist work. I'm very tall now. I'm a giant. Some people think I'm a giant. So it's hard for me to get down. But still, it's really good for my knees. And if anybody has any photographs, any parents, any members, daddies have any photographs, hurling coach on uh, Twitter. That's last week from Eamon Curley. Eamon, of his two girls, uh, working with uh, their skills and trying to strike uh, with the balloon. Okay, so we're doing great now. Okay, we have about maybe 10 minutes left. I'm going to get another drink of water for myself, so everybody get a drink. Very good. No, it's very warm in here in this room. Okay, next job. This might be for all the children a bit. Okay, so I hold the hurley in my hurley hand. I want to catch the ball in my catching hand. Just going to bounce the ball off the ground and gather it like that. Okay. Now, that means that you can set that up. I'm going to go again, and as I'm watching, as I'm doing it, I'm going to show you some few of you, okay? Okay? Careful with this one now. Okay, good work. So, we're going to get our first one again. This is the most important one to get. And if, if I get a mouth or a lion's mouth, some animal, that your fingers are an animal, whatever your favorite animal is, okay? So it could be a cat, or it could be a lion, or it could be a shark, okay? It could be a shark as well. So um, my children have warned me now not to sing the baby shark song because I think the baby shark song, uh, and I put the same words in as, uh, as for my furry hand. So here I go again. Tip it down the ball like very gently now. Okay, so there's loads of progression there. I go again from the start. I mean, you might have to help some smaller children, or you might even bounce the ball for them. They might even leave the hurley out of their hands, and they might have to catch it like that if you want as well, okay? If you want to use that yourself as to what works for you. Because I'm conscious that in some house, you might have a 12 year old doing this, you might have a 10 year old doing this, you might have an 8 year old, and maybe there's a 4 year old as well. And everybody wants to do it. Great job. Now, what are we going to do next? Oh, yeah, this is, this is just something else that I like doing. And roll into your hand. See how that goes. Fall off your hurley and roll it into your hand. Great job. Again, for smaller children, smaller children, a little cap of a bottle or something like that of a milk carton might be good. Just put it on the hurley. The dim out, keep that. And again, they could let it fall into their hands, roll into their hand like that. Okay? 
see how we go. Now, keep a minute or two, and we'll, we're nearly there. We're doing great now. Really, really good. We have two more exercises to do now. Okay, going really well. So, first exercise we're going to do, okay, is going to do a little bit on rolling the ball out and stopping it. So, as I roll the ball out, I run past it, and I stop with my hurry. I pick it up, and I run back. Here I go again. Roll it out, pass it out, stop with my hurry, run back. Okay, roll it gently. I'll roll it out, and even that even if you do this as well, maybe you have to roll it for the children. Maybe they said the, the lighting for fifth and sixth class. But this is a nice challenge out for somebody in fifth or sixth class one. Roll them all out, pass it out, and see can I let it fall up my hurley and roll up my hurley. So watch again now I do it for you so you might get a better angle. Roll it, and then slide up now my hurley. Okay, so I have to make a little angle. With my heart, see that? That's where my nose pointed out from the heart is really important. My nose, uh, sorry, the nose of the heart is pointed out. Passed out. Okay. Now, this time, the big challenge, I have to get my feet in front of the ball. I have to get my feet, my feet ahead. So I'm going to go for this angle so you can see this. Roll that down my feet are ahead. And now I get it up like that. Okay, have a go. So, I want to give everybody a little competition on this now. And again, you can send me your scores to ask curling coach. So if anybody does this, I go from this angle, they don't get any points for that. The ball must come off the ground. If anybody does this, they get five points for that one. Okay? And if anybody does this one, 50 seconds. And see how you get on. Three, two, one, go. The ball, the, the ball roll up along the hurley. See if it goes into the air. And now try and get your hands to it. And that would be 10 points. Three points out the ball doesn't go in the air at all. But keep going there. Have your go at it. I go again here. Roll it out. Yep. That's 10 points. I have to hand it over to my teammate out again. That's only five points now, but five points would be very good. Five points would be a great score. We'll see if, any, if anybody can get 50 points, get 50. And it's three, two, one. Okay, really good. That's really good. Okay, well done, everyone. I'm a little bit tired myself. That is, uh, should be sweating. Or definitely your heart is beating fast. Or your lungs are, are panting. You're panting. Okay, good stuff. Now, the last exercise we're going to do, okay, is we're going to try and solo whatever we have. So I'm going to start with the button, the button cap work plus. Okay, so we're bringing running into this and soloing. So the top of my button is on the hurley. My thumb is on the hurley. I'm going to run out, run back, bring to my catching hand, and hand it over. Now that's really important. That's really important. To put it into my catching hand and to hand it over. Okay, ready to go again. Run out, turn around, put it into my catching hand and hand it over. Okay, for anybody who's really good at it, if you want to try a ball, you can. Now you can do this. Hold the ball as you're running out. Hold the ball as you're running out. Run that. Hand it over. You want the old ball to do, but you can keep your hand very open if you want. Go back. And maybe if you've got the space, I don't worry about the ball falling. If the ball, if the ball falls, that's that gives the word. So if the ball falls, just leave it off. Maybe you're letting you pick it off the ground. Put it on the hurley. See you run it out and run back. Hand it over like that. Okay, so have a go with that. Have a go with that. See how you get on with it. Running out, whatever you're using, okay, whatever you're using, put it, put the ball in the hurley, 
run out, okay, run back, hand it over to your friend, hand it over to your brother, hand it over to your sister, hand it over to your granny, maybe your granny's friend as well, maybe your granddad. Okay, good stuff. Now, great job. So we'll leave it at that day. We'll just have a little recap. What did we do? We started off with our jumping. So for anybody who joins us this, okay, beat the cold, jumping forward, jumping backwards. We did that for about three minutes. Then we went into our running, okay? So we did our running exercise. We did our agility exercise in order, in order to zigzag. We did our jumping to get strong bones and strong muscles in, in our legs. Okay, then we brought in a ball and we did exercise. We, we did walking the doggy. Okay, in and out of the colors. Okay, for juniors and seniors. So, um, soloing, wasn't it? And I think maybe we I, I forgot one of the bits. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much. It's a new departure for us, but. Uh, it's worthwhile. I just hope that the stream, the stream came out okay, and uh, we try to correct it from last week. If it's not great again, we try to do our best to get it right for next week. Okay, but thank you very much, and something for Lent if you get a chance. Okay, bye. Thanks very much.